Here's the Moto G Power, the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your, from your Moto to your Chromebook, any Chromebooks. I'm not talking about downloading the photos and videos to the hard drive. Nothing to do with the Google Cloud. And we're going to be transferring using the charging cable. So the first thing I want to note is that the charging cable that comes with the uh, your Moto, it's a USB-A to USB-C. Okay, the thing is some of you guys may not have a USB-A um, USB port A on your Chromebook. So if you don't have, if you only have a USB C port, then you can always use one of these cables, a USB C to a USB C. Anyway, I do have a USB A. I also have a USB C on this Chromebook, but I'm just going to use this one here. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So it's in my USB port. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this side. I'm going to plug it in. Now when I plug it in, you heard that, but nothing pops up on the screen. So this is what you have to do go to your Moto, you want to slide down notifications. And then on the very bottom here, you can see it says, oh, let me focus in. It says uh, Android system charging this device via USB. So tap right here. And then it says tap for more options. So tap again. Now you can see by default, they chose no data transfer. What you want to do is click on file transfer. And once I click on file transfer, We get that window that pops up, the files window here. Now we want now on here, if you look on the left side here, what you want to do is just go to the left side here and just make sure that you're all the way up, okay? Now you see where it says my files. Now everything in my files is on my hard drive of my Chromebook. Okay, so it's on the hard drive of my Chromebook. So like this download folder, that's everything that's on my hard drive, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and I see uh, it found my phone. Moto, it says Moto G and it says ID2. So what I want to do, and all these right here are all the folders in my Moto. What I want to do is double click on DCIM folder, DCIM, double click, and then double click on camera. Now these are where my photos and videos are, okay? I know that they're photos if it has a JPG, which is a JPEG extension. I know that they're videos if it has a .mp4 extension, all right? So now, from here, the thing is, this is not a Windows computer, okay? So it's not like I can go ahead and grab this photo right here and then drag and drop it to my desktop, because if I drop it to my desktop, it's going to wing it back down, okay? So what I want to do is this. We go back to the left pane here, and then just go all the way up. And remember, under My Files, that's where we want it. So go to My Files here, and then you can double tap the uh, trackpad and make a new folder here. So I'm going to make a new folder, and I'll call this one... Moto 1, just like that, all right? Now, anything I drag into that folder is going to be saved to my Chromebook's hard drive. So I can select each one individually, or what I typically do is I'll just highlight all of it, and then I'll drag and drop into that new folder I called Moto 1, and I'll let that go, and go ahead and let it transfer here. It says copying seven items to Moto 1. You can see that and it says complete, okay, so it's complete. Let me go ahead and unplug my phone, and then you can see everything is gonna be in that folder. Now, if this is the uh, files folder, so if you wanna get back to this, just click on the start menu, and then click on files, all right? Click on files, and so here it is. So if I go to Moto One folder right there, bam, all my photos and videos are on the hard drive of my Chromebook, all right? Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right? Good luck, guys.